Welcome back to the channel everybody. As promised, we have some new non-Frosthaven board game content. Are you excited? Let's get to it. We're going to do a little unboxing today. So it's a quick one, not really in depth, but let's take a look at it. This is Undergrove. I just received this game yesterday on my doorstep as of August 31st. This is a game I kickstarted back in November, so it's good that I got it already here in September, although it is from AEG, a huge, huge established company, so it should not be a surprise that they deliver their game on time. I'm sure when they run a Kickstarter, they are well into development and ready to go. This isn't like some brand new publisher, right? So this is a game by Elizabeth Hargrave. Now, you probably know who Elizabeth Hargrave is. I don't know, maybe you don't, if you've been living under a proverbial board game rock. She developed Wingspan, which basically everyone who's played board games has played at this point. Great game, beautiful game, great artwork, nature theme. She's back at it with another nature theme game. This time we're looking at Undergrove, which is based around mushrooms. Um, I think it's a good avenue for that. It's designed with Mark Wooten, who worked on things like Thunderstone Quest and Legend of the Five Rings. I played Thunderstone Quest, I like it a lot. Art here is by Beth Sobel. Now she's worked on Wingspan, Arboretum, Calico, Cascadia. So she's the perfect designer for nature themes. So let's get to this thing. I got the Deluxified Mycologist Edition. Um, it has a nice big box here. Well, it's not a big box, it's about medium size. It has some metallic sort of engravings here. That's one of the Deluxified <laughs> things that you get out of it. Um, it's not a huge box, but it is heavy. There's a lot of stuff in here, I can tell you that. I know a big part of this Deluxe Mycologist Edition I have here is that there's a lot of wooden components in here, so that surely explains the weight that I'm feeling here. You can see on the back it's one to four players. Looks like it's a tableau-ish sort of game. It says 10 plus. That's about what Wingspan is. My 11-year-old, I'm sure, could probably play this game. Um, I think mushrooms are a good avenue for this sort of thing, if it's anything like Wingspan, because... Like Wingspan, there are a ton of different mushrooms. So it probably leaves open the door for lots of different expansions and such like that if it turns out to be successful. Honestly, I don't know a ton about the game. I kickstarted it based on the designer. And of course, uh, the theme looks interesting to me. So let's get this thing open. Carefully cut these away now. Flip this thing over. And let's get this box open for the first time. Hopefully I don't wreck anything. Hopefully it doesn't come apart. Let's see. Okay. Good enough. I always like when a box starts with something like this. You know, Frosthaven was like this. It's a massive box. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I like how it gives you right away a component list right there. This is also the manual for the game. Take a look at it here quickly. Looks pretty complicated, but it looks like it's well laid out. I don't know if it's actually well laid out yet, <laughs> but it looks just fine. Hopefully it does an adequate job of describing the game. And here we have player aids. Okay, so these are similar to what you get in Wingspan, where each player will have a player aid, which will walk you through your first turn specifically, tell you exactly what to do, which I think is a great way to learn games like this. So I look forward to that. Next up we have here is a really nice looking player board. Look at that tree art and the mountain in the background. I like that a lot, gotta say. There's four of them for each of the four players. They feel fairly thick. They're double sided, but from what I can tell, the sides are exactly the same. But you know, again, maybe I'm totally missing something here. If they're exactly the same, I don't know why it's two sided like that. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, they feel good. Like I said, they're pretty thick, sturdy. So watch out. Hopefully these things don't warp. Sometimes things like this will warp over time. Hopefully this, these do not. And next here we have, this is like a shared um, sort of middle of the table thing, I believe, where you put the cards and resources and various things that you use throughout the game. Um, so it helps with the organization of the game. I like that sort of thing as well. And again, this is about the same thickness as those player boards. Now this, this sucker is really thick. Uh, this is more like wood than it is like cardboard. That's what it feels like. It feels like a piece of wood there. Um, it has these four different or five different mushrooms. I guess this is like the starting tile set. Maybe it's the same for every game. I don't know. I'll have to find out. It looks good. I like the artwork already. 
again, that was one of the things that did draw me to it. And speaking of artwork, here's an art guide. Um, I believe if you like games like this, there's a good chance that you like the artwork and you appreciate it. So it's nice that they included this here so you can see all these different things. I don't remember if this is only part of the deluxe edition or whatnot, so apologies if it is. It definitely could be one of those things. Um, but like Wingspan, there's a lot of detail in here um, about the different mushrooms, different types of mushrooms. Interesting names here. Uh, you know, mushrooms have great names. Um, and really good looking artwork for everything, um, as is to be expected here. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how these all work together and how they play, how they incorporated this into the design of a game. But yeah, for you art lovers out there, there you go. Art guide. Oh, and what do you know? A bird on the back. <laughs> yeah. I gotta stop here for just a second to appreciate that this box is well put together. Everything seems to be packed really nicely so far. Here's some sort of uh, scoring tracker. Something around bonuses, something like that. Don't know how it's incorporated, but this is similar to the player boards and such in terms of thickness and quality. Feels good. But again, it looks like it's the same on both sides. So I don't know why they're making these things double-sided if they're the same. But again, maybe I'm missing something. Got your scoring sheets here, which are always useful in a complex game with a lot of different things to keep track of. Hopefully you have a good math person to handle the scoring for you uh, when you're playing your game. But I definitely appreciate a nice pad like that. We have goal cards here. So let's take a look at what's in here. Open this thing up a little bit carefully and not ruin anything. Okay, easy enough. All right, again, nice artwork. I see another bird here. Looks like a little hamster. <laughs> Some interesting stuff. So, yeah, these look like uh, the goal cards in Wingspan. Probably shared goals that everyone is working towards, and you can get first, second, or third, something like that. If you played Wingspan, I think you're familiar with these kind of things. I'm making a few assumptions here, but I think they're good ones. It's probably what these are for. Um, I like that that first one is a bat. <laughs> Love Halloween stuff. And then here's another look. Look at everything. All these boxes. Everything is packed in here tightly, but not too tightly. You know, just the right kind of thing. And I can't seem to get these stinking things out. Okay, let's remove this sort of spacer first. Oh, that's why. They're all bound up together. So these are the actual mushroom tiles. and. You know, I, this should be another area of deluxification in this version. Um, that's this thick wood, um, similar to that other thing we saw earlier with the mushrooms on it. So I'm going to take this little paper thing off and take a look at a couple of these. It has the logo on the back. Like I said, really thick, heavy material. Um, beautiful artwork. It's got some symbols that I don't know what they mean. There's pine cones down here. I don't know what that means, but... Here's a couple of them and what they look like. Everything's a little bit different. There's a lot of unique types of mushrooms out there. So that's why I said earlier, I think this will be a good avenue for this kind of thing. And again, symbols that I don't know what they mean, but I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough. So there you go. Those are the main mushroom tiles. I'm assuming that if you don't get this deluxified version like I have, you'll probably have a punch board type situation for these or something not as thick, not wooden, obviously. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you do pick this game up, you might not get the exact same thing. Um, but there you have it. So everything's still well organized. Look at all these cute little tuck boxes and they're completely empty right now. <laughs> so I'm assuming that I'm going to have to put together what's in all these tuck boxes eventually. And here's... More of those symbols we just saw, letters, P, K, N, C. I wonder if it's some sort of nitrogen, phosphorus, or, you know, I don't know. I'm guessing at this point. We'll see. This deck says solo cards. So there is, of course, like a solo variant, because there often is in games like this, which I appreciate. This looks like a typical deck of Atoma cards or Automa cards. I don't know. Probably pronouncing that totally wrong. Um, but to help you play the game alone, which I appreciate. And I can't seem to get these back in here. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Now, the question here I have is, are all these things empty? Because I haven't seen any components yet. 
This feels empty. This one too. And I think maybe these are player boxes. That's what I'm guessing at this point. Four different boxes, exact same design, different color. Ah, uh, here we go. This has got stuff. There we go. Here's all the components. Talked about the luxification already. Here's another example of that. All these fancy wooden components. I'm not sure how these things present in the actual regular edition. I apologize. I don't remember what that was. But in this one, basically everything is a chunky piece of wood. This little tree here. These look like player tokens in some respect. They match those colors like we saw in the boxes. This is some sort of tracking marker of some kind. It's got like a dragonfly or some sort of root structure on it or something. Here's a teeny tiny little triangle, little curvature at the bottom. Now let's see what else we have in here. Lots of wooden components going on. Let's see. There's something big down here. Let me try to pull that out. Oh, would you look at that? It's like a Super Mario Biggie Mushroom here. That's the Gen Xer and me coming out. Good old Super Mario Brothers. Very big, very chunky mushroom. Maybe I'll use it as a decoration. Hopefully, maybe we don't use it in the game necessarily. I can just put it on a shelf somewhere. So, all right, there's too many components in here. Um, if we're going to show these things, it's time to dump them. Here we hope that... Oh, one got away. Okay, retrieved it. Make sure we don't lose anything here. But there you go. That's the component dump for Undergrowth. I'm noticing that some of these match some of the boxes that we've seen, so I'm sure that these will all organize somehow. And that's going to be the organizing job here for me with this deluxe edition. <laughs> going through all these things, figuring out what goes where, because obviously this is not how it's meant to be played in this one big box full of wooden components. Uh, I'm sure if you get the normal version in this case, this is probably punch board time for you. Um, I don't have to punch anything out, but my job is still just as difficult. And I don't know, maybe I like the punch boards better since they're already sort of semi-organized in the punch boards. We're definitely clearly seeing how to organize some of these things, I think. You got these player boxes, you have trees that match those. I'm sure those will go together. There's probably some sort of starting materials you get in each one. We'll see how that goes. Let's face it, there are bits and bobs all over the place. A little pine cone token here. Other little bitty things, all kinds of stuff. Everything is wood. Everything is high quality. I believe the deluxe version cost me $69 to get all these nice wooden pieces. The regular version, I think, was $39, something to that effect. But I have to say, I kind of think this mushroom alone was worth the $30. Okay, maybe not, but I do love the mushroom. I want to make a decoration around here. I don't know if I'll use it in the game if I don't have to. Anyhow, moving on. Now for our next trick, let's go ahead and see if we can put this all back together. Now I could definitely lose pieces doing this, so I'll try to be careful, but I'm just basically going to try to slide all these things in here, back into the bottom of the box, make sure I'm not losing anything. But now I think it's a good time to try to speed things up. Let's do this fast. And there you have it, Undergrove by Elizabeth Hargrave. I'll try to get this on the table soon, and I'll work on a review for the channel in the very near future. Thanks for watching, as always.